Good morning. 5th of October. I've got Mr. Sonek here. Morning, John. Come on, stand on that box, Trishy, so we can see thee. Come on, stand on box. Thank you. Morning, morning, peasants. How are we going? Oh, fantastic, week. I've got some questions for the what was sent in yesterday after the conference. Oh, right. let's have them, John. How, yeah. how, how, how was the conference? Oh, do you know what, John? I've had the best week of my life. You know, Manchester is such a welcoming uh, city. I've been walking around that city. There's no deprivation. There's no homeless. There's no drug problem. There's no drinkers. And that shows that levelling up's paying off. <laughs> Who gave the best speech in your uh, in My honest opinion, mine was very, very good. Uh. Uh, but I've got to be honest, two Ellers were very good. But the best one for me was Penny Marden. Oh, ah, say, ah, stand up and fight. Ah, she was, got, she was uh, wanting yeah. civil war, wasn't she? We've got to stand up and fight. Because what happens, John, the socialists are coming for our money but via the taxman. Ah. And we ain't fucking paying none. Right, so right, stand right. up and fight, you can, the taxman can do one. Right, why did you scrap a chest two to Manchester then? It was costing billions and billions of pounds, and I mean it. Part of the levelling up procedure, we're gonna we're gonna reopen loads of stations and uh, and, and upgrade the current the, the current network we've got. Although it's from Victorian times, and that'll create jobs and it'll create wealth for the north. Are these stations gonna have tracks running through them? I don't know. <laughs> well, the tracks off stuff. We don't, we haven't said that yet, but <laughs> yeah, we're thinking about it. What do you think at Doctor's Strike then, Richie? Oh, okay, Jesus, you know. This one, uh, you don't mind me calling it a long journey, a long journey. No, no, no. This one, long journey, long, it pains me that they've increased the waiting list for the patients. It's 7.5 million on the waiting list. We were less than a million when they went on strike. Uh -huh. And yeah, I mean, they handsomely paid. I know they do a good job and I love our NHS, but the sooner we privatise it, the better. Uh -huh. Whose idea was it to let your missus speak at conference then? Well, that was a novel idea, wasn't well, it? Well, obviously. <laughs> Long John, you'll manage, you'll know whose idea it was, her idea, and that, I can't say no, but, you know, she's a fine example of a human being, she came here with nothing, she's now a, 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 a very uh, established businesswoman, she's got loads of businesses, I mean, yeah, yeah. she worked all through that pandemic, she's got business in America, business in India, and that shows that you've come with nothing, you can work your way up, yeah. work hard pays, hard work pays, should I say. Yeah. You've wrote £4.3 billion pound off it, uh... yeah. Covid yeah. loans. Yeah, why? Yeah. Why have you done that then? But to be honest, uh, Long John, what happened with that is uh, we did give a lot of money out to his friends, and uh, and to get that four points, whatever billion it is, it goes to a billion anyway. Uh, whatever. What's this on this bird? There's some. Oh, this bloody bird here. What is it? It's got something on the bottom of it. Oh, they're all empty. They can fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, Long John, that's to fucking get rid of that bird, lad. <laughs> Uh, sorry now, what I was saying. Right, but right. it off. Oh, it would have cost a lot of money, you know, a lot of time. Ah, yeah, yeah. We, can, we can be doing better things, more better things to help this country. You're levelling up, get the north back on its feet. Yeah. Have you handed your phone into inquiry yet? Well, to be honest, John, it's pointless, and there's nothing on it there, no, so ah, what's the point, ah, you know? Ah, ah, ah. I don't even know where it is. Maybe in my salt drawer somewhere, ah, I ah. What do you think of uh, us northern people, then? Oh, I love them. The northern people, I love them. Do you know what? Us tortoise, which are told the pits, all the steelworks, all the communities, and they're still fucking vote for us. <laughs> <laughs> I love the north. Come on, north, keep voting, Tony. We'll get you back on your feet. We'll open some pits. How did you uh, How did you travel up to conference then, Richie? Uh, well, to be honest, uh, I was running late, so I came in the helicopter. And plus yeah. that, it's a lot quicker, it's a lot cheaper, but obviously I'm not paying for fuel, so you're paying for that. But yeah, oh. it costs nothing, so why not? Helicopter's the future for me. Oh, yeah. What do you think of uh, poor people and people's rules on benefits? What's what's your what's your My idea? My honest there, opinion then? is I wouldn't like to be poor. I don't know what it's like to be poor. I don't know any poor people, and I certainly don't know anybody on benefits. But my advice to them is, get off your horses and get a job. Hard work pays. You're never going to have any money. Seventy nine pound a week. I'll tell you that because we're going to take it off you. Uh -huh. You're a multi multi millionaire. Yes. So why would you want to be Prime Minister? It's not about the money for me, John. It's about getting this country back on its feet. Put the great back in Great Britain. That's what us Tories do. Ah, uh ah. -huh. Right. What do you think about Liz Truss? She's a diamond, isn't she? She's done well this week. She had a full house, you know, at uh -huh. her friends meeting. And, uh, I mean, she did crash the economy. I mean, I, I, I don't, I, I can't dislike her because she's a, a died in the world Tory, but I'm glad we got her out before she busted the country. I mean, and a lot, a lot of working people, although she's put the mortgage up, they're still giving a vote. I mean, she, she'll get back in in her constituency. Ah, I can ah. guarantee you with that, Long John. 
Right, what's your plan for the future then? What we've got to look forward to? Well, you have not got a lot to look forward to, but I'm going to jump <laughs> in a helicopter and I'm going to go to one of my villas in America. I'm going to fly right. to the airport, right. get on a jumbo, business class, stay right. to America, and have a few weeks in, uh, in one of my houses. Same old shit then, yeah? Like, wanky, like, wanky. Wanky.